Well, look at that, hey? It's just another stock Hilux, really. I think you've already seen lots of Toyota Hiluxes. Yeah, this one's a little bit more powerful than a lot of them. There's a fair few V6 4 litres, but they all look like this on the outside. Maybe we should look a bit closer. Oh yeah, we're looking closer now. What the heck is that under there? Well, we'll go and get a bit closer and have a real good look at this thing. Yeah, everything looks pretty right except for the big shiny bit on the other side. Could there be something suspicious? Hmm, indeed, there could be. Oh yes. There's an intercooled supercharger system. By Raptor Superchargers. This 175 kilowatt vehicle, or what was, is now 270. Well, four pounds of intercooled Raptor Boost. Simple modular unit, bolts on in no time at all. And maybe allow yourself one and a half hours to install this system. Everything comes pre bolted together, and there's just a few bits to get it to the engine. Runs off the original engine belt. And you can't get it any easier than that, and it's upgradable endlessly, with up to another 150 horsepower on above this particular kit available. And is Raptor new to this game of Hiluxes? No, not at all. We first started in 2005 when the Hilux V6 was first released. Three weeks later, there was a 312 kilowatt Hilux, the first in Australia, with a centrifugal supercharger from Raptor. So we've probably been in the game a lot longer on these Hiluxes than most people. But it's taken us a while in amongst all these sorts of things to get our final kit together. And here we are some five years later. We'll start it up to run and we'll let it idle. Idling away like every good centrifugal supercharge V6 should. And there isn't anything hard about this whole game. This one here still runs a stock injected stock fuel pump, but does have a very high flow exhaust system and very good quality headers. And you wonder how hard it is to put the ECU in? Well, that little black thing that you can see way up in there on the side of the Toyota ECU is the Raptor ECU. And it's got a 22, 27 PSI map sensor in it and it has the capacity to handle the Hilux modifications right till the last horsepower. And it's just a simple plug-in unit. No need to solder, no need to be splicing wires and chopping up your loom. It comes pre-tuned. You just bolt it in, stick it on, plug the plugs and go. Now, let's just see if we can get a bit of blow-off sound. Some people like this, some people don't. We generally recirculate it to meet the laws and regulations. However, Sometimes we leave them open because that's just how people like them. So we'll give it a bit of a rev. You may not even hear it, but we'll see. Well, there was a fair bit of blow off sound there. You don't hear it much in the cabin, so I was surprised it was that loud. But as I say, it's normally recirculated and would be totally silent. There you are. That's how it is. You've seen the rest of the videos on YouTube showing it pulling, effortlessly pulling three tons of weight on the tow bar and effortlessly accelerating to nearly twice the speed limit in a very short time. There you go, thanks for watching Raptor Supercharger's little presentation on the intercooled Raptor V6 Hilux producing 270 kilowatts on four pounds of boost. See you again soon on the other side of 340. Bye.